I wanted to do a quick video on actual studies and research um, about the side effects of aromatase inhibitors and health consequences. Um, you know, as I've mentioned in other videos, my primary objective with this channel is harm reduction. You know, a lot of young guys are going to do this stuff regardless of what the health consequences are. But hopefully I can help people mitigate some of that with information. Um, I do think a lot of... Uh, bodybuilders uh, overuse and abuse aromatase inhibitors um, and they don't you know people are worried about the side effects of AAS use uh, but don't consider the side effects of the ancillary drug use and aromatase inhibitors can have some nasty long-term side effects that guys don't consider um, you know a lot of these things are not going to affect you in the short term uh, but if you're, you know, you know, crushing aromatase inhibitors year round, year after year, decade after decade, to keep yourself, give yourself that hard, lean look, you might end up having some problems down the road. Um, and you know, I wanted to, I have two, you know, short you know, excerpts from some studies and research I found um, through PubMed and um, the USA Pharmacists Association um, that talks about it. So um, one thing, you know, I, I, I don't want, I don't know why guys don't consider using Eximestine more often for aromatase inhibitors. It seems like people go for aromadex all the time. Um, if you must use an aromatase inhibitor in the off season when you're balking, I you know I personally think you should probably try to go without it if you can, or engineer your cycle so you don't need them. Um, you know, less drugs is always better. Uh, but exemestane, um, through the study I found on PubMed by the Team Greek. Uh, medical study uh, of cancer patients found that uh, exemestane had no negative effect on on cholesterol, um, and uh, you know whereas letrozole and anastrozole fuck your cholesterol up, um, and and. Uh, you know, exim, you know, exemestane actually reduces triglyceride levels, and um, tamoxifen was found to increase triglyceride levels. So, if you're worried about cardiovascular health for the long term, it seems like exemestane might be the better choice uh, for long-term use uh, as far as health benefits go. You know, staying the most healthy. It's just what I found. Um, Adverse uh, side effects of, of of aromatase inhibitors, you know, you know exemestine shares some of these, but for letrozole and anastrozole, um, there, there's some pretty nasty side effects that can cause hypertension, vasodilation, edema, chest pain, um, you know, elevated elevated lipids, uh, you know that. <laughs> You know, you're, that that is long term going to affect your cardiovascular health. You could end up with a blocked artery or have a stroke. Um, patients uh, may increase uh, decrease bone mineral density, increased risk of fracture. Um, you know, musculoskeletal pain, headache, insomnia, depression, increased cough. Uh, it can have neurological effects as well on the brain. Um, stomach issues. Um, you know, bone loss is a predominant side effect. Um, patients on AIs, you know, according to this study, should use vitamin D and calcium supplementation. I will tell you from my own experience, when I had my contest prep recently, my calcium levels were low in my blood work. I've never had issues with low calcium levels, but I was crushing the AIs at the, at the letrozole at the end of my contest prep. That is the reason why, more than likely, that my um, my uh, calcium levels were low. So I supplemented vitamin D and calcium for 45 days, got my blood work redone, fine. 
was fine then. So just something to consider. You know, long term guys are looking at blocked arteries, potential osteoporosis, um, things like that. So I be judicious with the use of aromatase inhibitors. Once again, I'm going to repeat this: less drugs are always better and. If you want to get huge in bodybuilding, you have to do this for a long time. And long-term use of some of the stuff can have negative effects on your health. So you want to use the least amount possible to get the job done. And be smart with what you use. I am going to record another video on a smart cycle construction. But, you know, if you have a heart, you know... A difficult time with aromatization maybe you should stay away from stuff that aromatizes heavily just a thought and then you might not need an aromatase inhibitor um you know just something to consider hopefully this helps have a great day thank you